face. You can see the wind's really getting up now. And this is a stage in a match where I'd be thinking that I've definitely made the right decision. So it's a case of just underarming it to the marker, watching exactly where it lands, and then throwing the balls on top. There, perfect. And then I can put this down. The beauty is when you're fishing like this, you can always have the first hour of the match fishing at range while the fish come to here. Today I'm going to start on this line because we're pleasure fishing and the conditions are absolutely bang on. The wind's driving in very, very hard and hopefully there should be some fish pushed into this line. And all I'm going to do, like I spoke about, every 20 minutes, half hour, not a big ball, but with a little bit of corning, just dropped up to the next platform. A couple in to start with. There, and that's fine. And basically, what I'm showing you today is a bad weather um, tactic. It's something that can really make a hard day's fishing very easy and also very rewarding. So now it's a case of just arranging my bait tray. Haven't got lots of baits, ground bait, corn. I've got a few barrel bait boilies, which again, if roach are a pain on the sweet corn, I can change to. This may well be a good gambit if, like I say, the little fish are a bit of a pain, but corn's my number one bait today. Like I say, these commercials, they change all the time. One minute boilies are best, but the next minute hard pellets banded, and at the moment, sweet corn seems to be the number one bait here on the method feeder. So like I say, now it's a case of just getting comfortable. The wind's really getting up now, as you can probably hear and, and see on the water. Um, it's a case now of getting comfortable, just underarming it, keeping everything nice and accurate and trying to catch some fish. Now, like I say, close, close quarter carping, as I like to call it, on a rod, it can be very, very violent fishing. And by this, I mean the bites that you get. So it's a case of having your clutch set, like I say, because the rods will really go round quick. You're only fishing five or six metres out and some of these big carp pick it up and some of the bites can be, like I say, quite savage. So I have the clutch just slipping so that when the rod goes, I've got a little bit of extra security that I'm not going to get broke on the bite. So like you can see, I've got the sweet corn already on the hair. It's a case of filling the feeder. Like so, and then a little bit, just with the corn pushed in. There. Perfectly loaded method feeder. And like we spoke about, the right amount of line, I'm just going to swing it out. And then as soon as the feeder hits the water, just let your finger off. This way you know that your feed is hitting the water in exactly the same place every time. Therefore, it'll be hitting the bottom at exactly the same place, right where you've thrown the balls in. Everything's nice and accurate, so that if those big fish do turn up on the short line, you're definitely going to be rewarded with some bites. Like I say, it's a case now of concentrating on the tip, because one thing that won't happen, it won't be shy. They won't be shy bites. Literally, your rod will be there one second and then gone the next, which is why the importance of the, of the clutch it is, is, like I say, of utmost importance. The bream won't be quite as savage, but like I say, if you can imagine a 6, 8, 10, 12 pound carp takes it at close range, the one thing that you're going to get is quite a violent bite. 